What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we're going to quickly discuss about iJapija's Yalu version. And uh, I'm going to tell you whether it's safe to try it or not and so on, what it is. Because a lot of people have asked me to make this video and I know I'm going to make Luca Tedesco angry again. And I know I'm going to, to make him hate me again because I'm talking about iJapija's fork of Yalu, which he doesn't like at all. But I have to talk about this because people are asking me about this and it's better for you to know. So, um, iJapija is this guy in here on Twitter. He's been known in the past as a developer of tweaks. He does have iOS knowledge, but he's been known for demoing a lot of uh, considered fake jailbreaks on, uh, on his Twitter. Well, nobody has a, a real proof that these are fake jailbreaks, but nobody has a proof that they're real and they're considered very sketchy. So, definitely not a real jailbreak developer, but he does know a little bit of iOS. He does know how to build tweaks. So, he has created on May 24, couple days ago, uh, this. He said, quote, for all people not believing in me, I'm releasing a complete jailbreak for iPhone 7 users on Tempo 1.1. Well, it's not a complete jailbreak created by him. It's another fork, but this time of the um, Xerob's rewrite, which is Extra Recipe. So Extra Recipe, if you do not know what it is, is available in here on Xerob's uh, GitHub, and it aims to replace the Mac Portal plus Yalu X, which... Um, it's definitely the jailbreak that was available for iOS 10.1.1 on iPhone 7. It's definitely not the Yalu 102 for the other users. This one is for iPhone 7. And this one is a better version that aims to replace the one um, created by QWERTY Worry App or Look at the Desco. Uh, and it has a little bit more stability and so on. So, um, uh, the in here took that part uh, and added a couple of patches according to him and some rewrites. And definitely make this one. Now, I know that Luca Tedesco doesn't recommend this. And on his Twitter, you can see people are asking him if they should use Yalu X jailbreak by um, iJapija, the fork created by iJapija. And he says that no. And this is what he said, no. Full stop. Well, um, a lot of people have tried this when it was released a couple of days ago on uh, Reddit. And they reported pretty good stories about it. I mean, they reported it does work it does get the substrate working, it does get the job done. So, um, it's definitely working, but it's definitely not recommended by Luca Tedesco. Now, I'm going to leave you do whatever you want. If you want, you can try it. It was confirmed it's not malicious because a lot of people have tried it. I didn't try it myself, so I cannot talk about um, from experience, but um, I don't have an iPhone 7. But those uh, from the uh, from the Reddit jailbreak that did try this version of Yalu X by iJapija did confirm that his patches um, on top of um, the uh, on top of Xerob's work is definitely are definitely working. Now, do not get me wrong. I'm not implying that iJapija created this jailbreak from scratch. As I said, he just added a couple of patches, a couple of simple patches, uh, on top of extra recipe created by uh, Xerob. Now. This is definitely uh, an improvement considering his past and I definitely understand him. So this is why I'm making this video. Yes, it is considered stable. So as um, as of the uh, version 1.1.1, it says jailbreak state detection fixed. App will crash on launch when you're jailbroken. Okay, that should probably not happen, dude. And better stability, suc <laughs> succeeded to reboot and read jailbreak five times in a row without panicking, probably, po probably he wanted to say. So it has a full OTA patch, it adds binary, uh, additional binaries for SSH, um, it detects the jailbreak status and also added Cydia bootstrap. Okay, this is what he's claiming in here. Again, Luca Tedesco does recommend you to use the original one and this one, the original one is available in here, which is now on beta 3 that contains the substrate and it's extra recipe plus Yalu X. So it's basically a uh, version of the Xerob's project in here compiled by Luca Tedesco and put it on the website. Uh, I do not know if he also made additional changes to it. Anyways, you can download it from here, press download and download it. Now, for those of you who want to ask me about this part in here, Fakai Krakurai device and FC 65 which FC 65 is me, I explained this in the past, in my past video uh, videos, and uh, it's because me and Luca Tedesco have argued, have biffed, and we biffed very, very serious on Reddit and on Twitter in the past, and for some reason we're hating each other, we can't get along with each other due to the mistakes I made in the past, due to the fact that I'm a beginner, and so on. And uh, yeah, I really hope we can stop with childish things like this, 
Um, and yeah, but yeah, this is the reason he put this in here. He hates me, basically. We're now, uh, we have argued and we're now mad at each other and hopefully we can get over it. But yeah, just do not mind that. This is his uh, default reaction when he's beefing with somebody, making fun of that dude. Anyways, uh, you can download the official uh, thing in here. You click download. If you're interested in more on the, how I biffed with him and why, I recommend you to go ahead on my videos in here and watch this video, extra recipe in here. It's in the description and in that video I also explained why I biffed with Luca Tedesco and what happened. Anyways, um, this is actually it. This is what, what happens with IGP just uh, fork of the jailbreak. It is considered stable, it is considered working, definitely Luca Tedesco doesn't recommend it and so I cannot recommend it uh, myself, but if you want to use it, it does work and it does get the uh, job done. So yeah, definitely give it a chance if you want to. Um, this is it basically it guys, till the next time, I'm Geosnow, stay safe and peace out.